What's going on guys? Welcome back to Real Life Raw. Now we're here and I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and set up a server for TechIt version 1.6.4 or actually 1.6.4 Minecraft. The actual new TechIt version is 1.2.6. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so it's now for 1.2.6 Tekka, that's the newest version of it, and there are some differences which I'm going to show you, and it came out only a few days ago, so I haven't really found any uh, tutorials, or even recent tutorials, even for the last Tekka, on how to set up a server. So, with my new series, I'm doing a Tekka series, and I have a, I need a Tekka server, so I had to set it one up, and I had to go through the trouble of trying to figure out how to set it up and everything like that. So I'm going to show you that, and I'm also going to go ahead and show you how to transfer a map that you had on the previous Tekkit version to running on the new Tekkit version for you. So here's the main problem I went in uh, with, okay? So you get your Tekkit, you download the, the latest uh, installer and launcher and everything, and then you want to go ahead and you want to run the server. So you need to go ahead to the bottom of the screen and, of course, you know, download the server files. The only problem, we're right here, server owners, when you click it, page not found. There's an error. It doesn't actually, it's not linked up correctly. So I searched for a while and I found this page on the forums. Uh, I'll put all links in the description down below for you guys for your convenience. But basically I found it here. Tag it 1.6.4 or 1.2.6 has been promoted to recommended, which is really nice. Server files are available here. So I found them here and they'll be there for you. So that took me a while to find. Anyways, um, a few things did change. Actually, a lot did change with this. It took away a few mods that I liked, but it added a ton more in return. So a few ones that it took away were simple power storage, obsidian plate, and custom land ports. I really liked the obsidian plate because it was really helpful. But it brought in Project Red, Big Reactors, Carpenter Blocks, Carpenter Blocks, rather, which are really, really helpful, and I love them. Whalea, uh, sorry, Whalea, vending, uh, vending Blocks, Extra Utilities, Redstone Motion, Wireless Redstone, CBE. So those are really nice mods, and they add a lot more into the game, which I really like. So anyways, you want to download that, and I'll click here, and I'll download it for you. See right there? And it's going to take about 20 seconds to download. Okay, so the second thing is downloaded, and you want to put that right on your desktop. You can close that down, and then you can see you have it right here. Now, you're going to open up, and you're going to want to... So these are the actual files, right? Um, that you just had, and so close that down for a second, I forgot to mention, you're going to want to launch and run your TechIt thing one at least one time. So go to TechIt, get on your TechIt launcher, go to TechIt, hit play, and then play, um, I don't know, just go on something, or even just load it up, because you need to have it loaded up. And then you want to go ahead and you want to create a new TechIt so, uh, server folder. So go to uh, here and hit new and folder, and then right here, and then you want to rename it anything. We'll just call it TechIt. Okay, now you're going to want to open this folder with WinRAR or whatever, and you're going to want to take all these files right here and bring them over to that folder. Now, if some if you just open this up right here with just WinRAR and try to load the the launch.bat file, nothing will happen. That is because it, you're trying to go ahead and run you know, something that needs to be extracted first. So it'll say, like, you know, unable to do whatever, press any key to continue, and then just closes down the CMD. So that means you can't do it. So you need to close that down, put it in, a, extract it into a different folder, then you open this up here, and now when you hit launch, it'll load everything up, okay? So it's pretty simple. Make sure to hit launch, not Minecraft server, not tech it. Uh, just launch to launch your server. And now to actually tell you how to bring in your old, uh, you know, world from your uh, old server. I have mine in folders server right here. So I have mine right here and I actually already did this so I won't be able to show you step by step but basically you want to find your world folder which should be right in here. You want to take that out and put it right on the desktop so pretend I have it on my desktop right here. <laughs> and you want to go ahead and in return put it right on top like it right on top of this folder, so put it in this folder, okay? So it'll say that it's in here uh, with the folder, which, you know, should work. You'll see a worlds folder, and then you'll see your other, your, you know, other world folder. I recommend the folder that you take out from your previous. Right here, um, you can see this is after I have it all set up and stuff. I called it world old. So this is the one that came with the new server. This is world old, which was on my previous server, okay? So just name it something else, like world old or something, or old tech it, or whatever you prefer. 
And then you want to go ahead and go to your server properties, which are right here. Server properties, you want to open that up with Notepad or any other note like a text editing software. Open that up. And here you'll have this. Right here where it says level name, you want to change it to world old or whatever you have your uh, your old, you know, world <laughs> set as. So as I said, mine is set as world old, so I type in world old for level name. You need to spell it exactly how it is. You cannot add in any extra spaces or anything. You have to have it right there, right next to the equal sign, and then just file save, and it, and it will work, okay? And then you can go ahead, and we can go ahead and hit play and it'll load up for you. That is the cool thing. That's basically all it is. Um, it's a lot easier than some people will think, but you got to be sure that's what you do and stuff. That's how you get it. Those are the files that you probably were missing, and TechIt will load up for you and run correctly. So I hope this video helps you guys. If you did, then give it a thumbs up, and uh, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!